Hello everybody, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Island video. So today we are going to be doing a collab with Joe and Evelyn from their YouTube channel Horses at Heart. Um, so feel free to check their channel out. The link is in the description and I'm super excited to be doing this video. So we are going to be co-breeding our horses. Hopefully we can get some good outcomes and stuff. Um, and yeah, let's go on ahead and get started. Okay, so first up, I'm going to be breeding horses with Evelyn. So let's go ahead and invite to co-breed. You guys have lovely horses, by the way. I really like the Arabians, um, as you may or, not are, may or may not already know. Um, so I'll put on this one, or you know what, maybe I'll do a unique outcome. I always struggle when it comes to like picking horses and stuff. Hmm. Wait. Uh, I'm thinking. <laughs> There's so many options I could do. Who I could do this one. Oh, okay. This would be cool, I think. Um, we got a Bay Gray Chimera. I think this would. Ooh, this one was a nice horse. I like the Dapple Palomino coat. I think it's really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is quite expensive, though. You know what, guys? I actually think I'm going to breed Meringue because you know what? Why not? Meringue is a great horse um, to breed. Okay, so I am breeding Meringue and then um, Evelyn is breeding Romeo. Romeo, I love the main color as well. I think that is such a pretty horse. And then, of course, we got Meringue here. Okay, so we got a colt. Oh, man. Oh, wait. We got a legacy coat here, and it is on a Frisian. Oh, it is so cute. Oh, my goodness. This is adorable here. Um, I was hoping maybe we got, like, the pinto coat, but you know what? It's okay. Okay, so now we have a three-minute cooldown. Um, in the meantime, oh yeah, it does kind of look like Oreo with the white and the black mane. Oreo is actually like such a lovely horse though, and I love the white rose accessories. Here, I'm going to buy some potions, or not potions, but actually yes, it is potions. So we're going to buy a few of these. I don't know how many we're going to need, so we're just going to buy 10. And then we're going to grow this horse up and see what it looks like as an adult. Ooh, you got the pretty um, co-breeding snowflake coat. That is nice. Okay, so this is what our horse looks like all grown up. I like the black mane on it as well. I think that it looks cool. I'm going to see if I have any accessories that could go with it. Does this look cool? Sort of, I guess. Oh, yes, that would be a wonderful coat to breed with. I actually have not been able to get that coat yet, so that would be, like, super cool um, to breed with. So we can totally do that next. Um, let me see if I have any good accessories for this horse here because um, I think it's pretty cute. Here, I'm trying to make, like attack set for this horse because when i'm bored um i tend to make tack sets for horses this is a good i guess here we'll do this i don't really know what i'm doing this looks kind of crazy but right now but you know what it, it is a okay that looks pretty bad okay there is our horse Oh, thank you so much. I'm kind of like running out of um, black and white accessory options. I don't really have too much that matches right now, but you know, it's fine. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to go ahead and grab some horses um, from my private island because I do want to breed some of those as well because um, they are some cool horses. So I'm just going to go run over there real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I have a bunch of my favorite horses in the stalls right now, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them so that I can breed them if I want to. I mean, some of them aren't the rarest horses, um, but it's nice to like have them in my inventory. 
just as like an option and stuff so okay here we go we've got a bunch of good horses and now we're gonna head back okay i am back and i'm gonna hope that the breeding cooldown is all set and good to go so we're gonna try and invite to co-breed let's see yes the cooldown has finished and let's go ahead and find a good horse okay so joe has already selected hers um let me find one i think i'll breed stella because then it can still be on a frisian and we actually have a pretty solid chance of getting the co-breeding unique coat hopefully i really want to get the leopard snowflake um chimera coat okay and we're breeding it this one is kind of expensive it's four thousand tokens like breeding horses is so expensive please get something good oh no we didn't if the little chat doesn't pop up then um yeah oh but we got a gray pinto coat and it also has a gold black mane. So this is a cool one. We're going to go ahead and grow it up as usual so that we can see how it looks. Oh, and we got a sassy one. We have a sassy pony here. Oh my gosh, I got 25,000 bond with my horse. And this mane actually looks super cool. Oh, you don't have this a coat like this one yet? Well, you know what? Now you do. So that's actually pretty good that we got um, this outcome because now you can have a coat like that. And then it also has a cool mane as well. I'm a bit disappointed that we did not get the Cobra Unique because I've been trying to collect them and I haven't been able to get it. I've like tr attempted to breed the Snowflake um, Chimera like so many times. It has failed like every single one, but you know what? It's okay. Um, that was a good attempt there. And I'm going to see if I have any accessories. I'm kind of running low on like accessories right now because I've been making like an insane amount of tag sets lately and have been using all of the accessories from them um so yeah i don't have like a ton left at the moment and i'm not really sure what's going on here this does not match at all oh have i got good coats on aquateki or clyde v2 um not yet unfortunately okay so i've had quite a few fails i have tried getting cool coats on the Akoltekes and the um v2 clyde sales it hasn't really worked out actually i do think i might have gotten one on the clydesdales oh yes of course we can evelyn oh so you've only got one? Oh, that's a cool one though Ooh, that is a really pretty horse on the Aquateke there. You guys, how do you get so many of this coat? I have, like, gotten none yet. Um, but actually, I think, no, I didn't get anything good on the Aquatekes. Um, yeah, I don't have anything good on that with the Clydes. Um, so the breeding cooldown is, like, so annoying. Like, sometimes I just want to, like, breed my horses and then breed more horses, but no, we have to wait so many minutes. Oh, she never wants to stay by, snot, stay by my side. She's a curious one. That is true, but you know what? I like the curiosity. Like, the independent horses are cool. All of the horse personalities are so cool, how they're unique and stuff. Like, the sassy and the energetic and the independent and the sleep be it. like i all like how they like act differently and have different traits i think that was like a really good update that was added to wild horse islands um because it just makes the horses like more realistic and stuff and i like the idea of my horse like having a personality like i just think that that's cool um so let me figure out what horse i'm gonna get next Oh, you got her yesterday for trade. It was super nice. All they wanted was some prismatic gems. Luckily, you had some. Oh, that's so lucky. That is super amazing. Like, I can never seem to find good trades at all, um, which is kind of disappointing. Um, like, I've tried, like, to do good trades, but it just hasn't quite worked out yet. Here, let me find an Arabian so we can try and get a pure one. Oh, you had to add a bit more for this horse. Okay, so you traded for them. Yeah, I have not been able to get the horses at all. I think, wait, is that a mare or a stallion? Here, let me check. Actually, during the Valentine's Day event, I was able to get good trades because I just traded, like, um, the Velvet Hearts for a bunch of good event horses. So that was probably the only time I was able to trade for, like, um, good horses and stuff. 
And I gotta figure out what gender um, Evelyn's horse is so I can know whether to look for a stallion or mare for my um, horse to breed with it. Okay, it is a mare, which means that I need a stallion. And yeah, your Arabian is really pretty. Like, this coat just, like, looks so cool with the, um, white with black spots and black with white spots. I just think that it's just, like, honestly a stunning coat. Like, I was so excited when it released during the co-breeding update. I'm like, this is the chimera I was waiting for. This, this is the one. I need this coat. I cannot wait to see what full you get. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to see what full we get either. And now I gotta look for a stallion to go with this horse. Okay, so I think I'm going to breed this Bay Pinto Arabian. Actually, no. I think I'm gonna breed the this Dapple Palomino Arabian here. And I think that the cooldown is probably up so now, up by now. And yeah, this is a pretty one. I have like a main horse that is tacked out um, that looks just like this one. I think it's uh, his daughter, um, but he, uh, she's one of my faves. It's Amber, my horse. I, I don't think that you've seen her yet, but yeah. Okay, so let's go on ahead and get co-breeding. Let me add my horse. There we go. Now we just wait. Ooh, okay. Let's hope that we get something good. We don't have too many options of this one. There is a good chance that we, that we just get the Dapple Palomino, but there is also a good chance that we get the co-breeding unique coat. Um, so either way, I think it would be pretty cool. Um, let's see. Wait. Oh, yes. Yeah. Guys, this is actually so cool. Guys, we got the co-breeding unique horse as well as the flaxen fade mane and tail. <laughs> this is my first time getting this coat and I am so excited, you guys. This looks so awesome. This is my first time breeding a co-breeding unique coat in general. I think I've had to get the other ones um, from trade and stuff. But this is my first snowflake um, chimera. And we're going to go ahead and... Yes, I'm so glad too. So we're going to go ahead and breed this horse up to see what she looks like. And it's a girl. And this looks absolutely stunning, you guys. Like with the leopard as well as the snowflake. Like I just think it looks so gorgeous. And we got it an, on an Arabian, which is also one of my favorite breeds. So this is just so, so exciting. And then we're going to do one more breed um, with Joe. But I'm just so excited um, to have them here and doing a video with them. So let me, would, hmm, what tax should I do? Should I do like a neon one? Here, I think a neon or moonstone one would look pretty cool. Um, let's see what accessories I have. Okay, I think that this looks really neat. Thank you so much. The neon and moonstone colors, I think that they look pretty good on any horse coat, to be honest. And this looks super duper cool. Okay, time to figure out what horse I'm going to breed next. Thank you guys so much. You guys are both so, so sweet. Oh my gosh. Um, definitely make sure to check out their channel, you guys, because they are doing a wonderful job with their videos, and you guys should absolutely check them out. Since you got that coat already, did you still want me to use my Aquateke or something else? I think that a different coat would be good um, to have some variety in the breeding, so, you know, we don't just have, like, another snowflake leopard chimera. Okay, so I am going to check my horses um, for a good one to breed. So we have a bunch here. Okay, so you have that mare. Oh, that's a cool one. I like the coat. I think that's a legacy leopard one, right? Pretty sure. Okay, so you guys, we need a stallion to go along um, with Joe's mare here. So I'm not sure if I have any super cool looking stallions. 
Hmm, um, let me just take a look. Okay, so we've got some bay ones. We've got this legacy um, bay pinto coat, which I think would look cool. And we've also got this red roan blanket, which is an island unique. Um, other than that, we don't have, like, I don't have at least some like super cool horses um i could do this liver chest oh wait no that's on breeding cooldown i could do this one i could do this um flea bitten chimera i think that would be neat as well oh i have to bond with this horse i forgot about that <laughs> <laughs> it's okay that happens to me sometimes i'll be like on my horse and then i'll meet i forget what i mean to click but i'll accidentally click like the sprint button and then it'll sprint me away um from wherever i am so it happens okay and then joe says that that one works and it's stunning oh thank you so much yeah this one is a cool one um i think did i actually wait i don't i actually don't remember if i co-bred this one i might have co-bred this one with a fan or either a f that or i bought it or a fan gave it to me i forget i forget where i got this horse um but we have it so yeah or actually i might have gotten this one from a market stand because i remember getting one i definitely i bought one of these from a market stand definitely i don't remember if it was this one though or if i have like another one I, th I think it was this one. I think that's where I got it from. <laughs> okay, so I think that the cooldown is all done. So we are going to go ahead and co-breed. Oh, okay, so you need to feed it real quick. That is totally fine. I just had to do that as well. So you are all good. Okay, there we go. And now we can go ahead and co-breed. Let's go ahead and add on our horses here. Let me find him. Okay, here we go. Okay, so there is a few options we can get. Hopefully, we don't get a common one. Once again, this is an expensive breed. Oh my goodness, so much money just going down the drain. We had better not get something common for all of this money. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's see. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we got a Legacy Leopard coat. Oh my goodness, it is so adorable. My chat is like so broken white right now. It like won't send the message. Like I keep clicking return, which is like send, and it's not sending. Okay, there we go. I love the grumpy personality. Yes, that is so cool. The grumpy ones are funny. Like they just get, they just seem so grumpy. <laughs> I like how they like sometimes like stomp their hooves and stuff. It's just silly. Okay, so let's go ahead and grow this one up. Okay, so here is what he looks like all grown up. It is the Legacy Leopard Coat. And it looks really, really cute. Anyways, that is all that I have for this video. This was actually not too bad. We got a bunch of good and cute looking horses. Once again, thank you so much to Joe and Evelyn from Horses at Heart for joining me for this video. And I also filmed one on their channel with them. So feel free to check that out. Their channel link is in the description. So if you want more breeding with us together, go check out the video on their channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.